I couldn't help but notice your wonderful, wonderful jacket. And what does it say on the back of it? There it is, Gold, Gold Rush Kid. Gold Rush Kid. Oh, yeah. So did you make that yourself? Yeah, well, I didn't do the embroidery myself. Right. But I found an old jacket right. and thought, well, it's more economical. There's something about taking an old jacket and giving it a new life. Upcycling. Yeah, exactly that, yes. Yeah. So then we have this jacket. Listen, we love to see eco-friendly ideas yeah. and upcycling, particularly on Blue Peter. And it's funny you're wearing that jacket because that leads us on very, very nicely to today's Absolutely. make. Which is going to be taking some old T-shirts and upcycling them with a bit of tie-dye. But the plot twist is that we're going to be using fruit and veg to create the dye. So, to get involved in this, you're going to need the following ingredients. A lots, a lots and lots of fruit and veg for the dye itself, a pan, some jars, a white t-shirt, elastic bands and some sandwich bags. All of the details are on the Blue Peter website. And we've got a couple of helpers with us, George. Amazing. Amelia Hello. and Louis, are you OK? Are you, are you excited for this? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant stuff. Should we get stuck in? Yeah. OK, so the first things first, everyone, is you're going to take your fruit or veg and you're going to mash it up. You're going to really go to town on mashing it up as much as possible so that it's just a big old pile of sludge in the end. That's what you're aiming for. That's satisfying, isn't it? That's satisfying, isn't it? Satisfying, isn't it? And uh, while we do this, yes. working very hard... Louis, you've got a question, haven't you? Yep. Um, I wanted to ask George Ezra... Yes. Um, ..what was his favourite... Um, subject when at school and why? My favourite subject Question. at school? I think my favourite subject was music and I liked arts and I liked history and things like that but music was my favourite. Music? You Funny that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, Tie-dyeing t-shirts. Oh that's true, yeah. 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 Right, uh, the next step, once we've got a big amount of sludge right there, you're yes. going to take yourself a saucepan and you're going to pour the mixture into the saucepan. So we're going to okay. do that right cool. now. And if you guys could do that as well, I can give you a hand. Yes. Empty your mixture. Go on, throw it in there. Go on, there you go. And you, Amelia. And once this is done, you want to cover it with just uh, enough water to Try only this. just, yes please, just cover the uh, fruit. So make sure you don't put too much water in because if you do, then it will dilute too much and you won't get as much colour. And then what you want to do is put this on a hob and boil it. So you, the longer that you boil it, the richer the colour and the dye will be. OK, so once that is done, you want to take the saucepan, make sure that it's nice and cool after you've boiled it and sieve it. And then you are left, why am I bending down? Then you are left with these. You've got your dye. So remember, take the saucepan, pour it into a sieve and then you, are en you end up with these. Make sure that they cool, make sure they're nice and cool. And when you're using a hob, then, of course, ask a parent for help. George. What colours have we got here? So, these are made from blueberries. Yep. This one is red cabbage and bicarbonate of soda. Yep. And this one is beetroots. Lovely. What a mixture. Right. Yeah. OK, so we're going to get these out of the way uh, and we're going to grab our T-shirts, everyone. But a Blue Peter top tip for you is make sure that the T-shirts are wet because then it holds the colour far, far better. And um, you, what you need to do at this point, this is quite important, is you can scrunch the T-shirt up any way you like, but to create an amazing pattern, you're going to want to do the following job. George, now you're an expert at this, aren't right, you? Right, so if we pinch the middle yes. and keep spinning the same spot, right, spin there the t-shirt goes. Around. Yeah. You've done this before! Yeah. <laughs> Look at him go! Oh. It's a lovely little parcel. And how are you getting on over here as well? Good. Good, you are absolutely nailing it. And then what you want to do is take as many elastic bands as you can and wrap that little parcel in your elastic band. So it creates, as I said, like a nice little parcel. And it protects the T-shirt from the dye itself. So the more elastic bands you put on, the more protection from the dye you want. And it creates a lovely little pattern. Now, Amelia, I believe you've got a question for George as well. Where do you get your ideas from? Ideas. I love travelling, so if I can travel to new places and meet new people and see new things and write down ideas that I see along the way and keep little journals, you know, and then write the songs from those notes. That, is that a bit like asking a magician to reveal a trick? <laughs> Probably. Uh, I don't think so. I think we can all do that. It's good to keep little journals. Yeah, most That's definitely. Uh, now is another very important bit. Surprisingly, for a tie-dye T-shirt, you need some dye. So what we're going to do, George, you're going to pick a colour of your choice. Okay. Uh, make sure that you've got a baking tray because you don't want to stain any surfaces. You guys pick a dye of your choice or both. It's entirely up to you. This is entirely down to your creativeness. And, so and then now pour this just, on. I mean, Louis well ahead of you. <laughs> just pour it all over. Okay. Go to town. Don't be shy. Um, but there we go. I know, right? Woo! 
Uh, but as I said, make sure that the baking tray that you're using has got sides so you don't splash it absolutely everywhere. And the more dye you use, the more colour you have. Next up, we need some sandwich bags. So I hope I've got more than one. I've got just one. Oh, no, there you go. That's yours. So if you throw the T-shirt in there, oh, we've got one here. Yeah. Um, do you, would you like me to do this bit? No, 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 I can do this bit. Yeah, that's very nice of you. <laughs> yes. There you go. So okay. you're going to put it in the sandwich bag and you're going to leave it overnight, sealed up, left overnight, which means you've got a lovely surprise in the morning because in the morning, what you're going to do is take off the elastic bands themselves to reveal the pattern Give it a rinse under some cold water, otherwise it just stinks of fruit, and leave it to air dry. And then once that's done, George Ezra, here's one we made earlier. Yeah! <laughs> and here are the T-shirts modelled by our lovely little models. Here they come. <laughs> the finished product. <laughs> good, good start, look. Well done, both of you. Even arms folded as well. I Love know, that little like pose. That. Now, George, uh, you're wearing a Blue Peter badge and you've done a Blue Peter mate. You're officially part of the family. Congratulations oh, what an and honor. welcome. Thank you, and very thank you much. so much. Not at all. George, Ezra, everyone! Thank you.